Hi folks, Rob Trent here. This video is not going to be comedic or dramatic about politics or about culture or society. It's going to be about one man. A man who has made an amazing impact uh, on broadcasting, but who little is known about. And that man is this man. Bob Wilkins. Bob Wilkins got his start in, in broadcasting and television in, uh, in the early 60s at a station uh, 54 in Stockton. He was a natural, and so he was lured away to KTLX uh, Channel 40 in Sacramento, where by sheer chance, Bob was offered the, sh uh, the guests, or excuse me, the hosting duties for uh, their local horror show on, on Saturday nights. Well, Wilkins didn't really like horror movies very much, but he thought, well, this is definitely a step up, so I'll go for it. And he did. And he threw himself into it. He was very creative. He produced all his own shows. He wrote all his own shows. Of course, he started them, too. And ver before very long, he had a huge following all through the Sacramento Valley. Now, the funny thing about Bob Wilkins was, aside from the fact his success rested on not only the fact that he really didn't like horror movies, ironically, but because also he, unlike any other horror movie late night show you can think of, whether it was Vampira, who started it all in, 19, in the early 1950s, or El, later on, Elvira, Mistress, Mistress of the Dark, he was utterly normal. He would come on to the set wearing a suit and tie, uh, big thick glasses, and a nice big stogie. And he would smoke it, too. Those were the days, weren't they? And, uh, and he had an amazing acerbic wit and not, never cutting or mean or obnoxious, just acerbic, just, you know, a really good sense of satire and very witty, uh, very funny guy and in a very naturalistic way. And according, and, and he also had an air of decency about him. It was, it was hard to pin, it's hard to pin down thinking back to when I saw him, um, and I'll get to that. He was a very acerbic guy, and that was the key to his success. Uh, he would, in, at KTLX 40, he developed a format um, for, sh for his own personal format for horror shows, um, late night horror shows, in which he would basically tell people, you shouldn't watch this show. Really, you shouldn't. Now remember, this is back in the 60s. This is around 64, 65, when he was KTLX 40. And he would say, you shouldn't watch this show. No, no. And then he would do this. He would reach over off, off camera a little bit and bring a TV guide. And he would open it up to, to the Saturday night, and he'd look and he'd say, you know, you could be watching this, or you could be watching that. And he'd actually tell them what the, comp what the competitor stations were playing and saying, you really don't want to watch this. Well, of course, because he said that, people had to watch. You know, brilliant idea, and, 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 and so simple, you know, which brilliant ideas usually are. Um, all that together made him a huge hit at KTLX 40. A new station, uh, about four years later, a new station in Oakland um, that served the entire San Francisco Bay Area called KTVU Channel 2 uh, lured him away and uh, he created a show in 1971 called Creature Features. Creature Features is legendary and it's not just legendary amongst those of you who are watching this who like me grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area in the 1970s and very early 80s 80 and 81 no because uh, KTV went to a superstation format uh, via cable in 1970 late 76 early 77 the whole country got to see what Bob Wilkins was like and they loved him um, creature features when they, when they went national, routinely beat Saturday Night Live in the Saturday, of course it was on Saturday nights, um, Saturday Night Live in the ratings. A couple years later, a trio of gentlemen who were promoting a certain film by the name of Animal House came calling to at KTVU and wanted to be on Creature Features because they knew how highly rated it was. And this was the director, John, and, um, uh, Donald uh, Sutherland and John Belushi and John Belushi a jerk the whole time and just really surly and kind of like he didn't want to be there legend has it the reason John Belushi was pissed off is because he knew that he was on the show that was beating his show in the ratings 
What was so special about Creature Features? Well, aside from the format that he brought over from Sacramento, Bob Wilkins did a lot of other things. He he really believed in being like a, a television a broadcaster, a journalist almost. Creature Features was the venue for the debut, the, the, the television debut of the original Night of the Living Dead. KTV was the only one that had it, and that was in 1973 before they were superstation. so other folks in the, around the country could only read about the fact that this station in Oakland, California, was the first station to show Night of the Living Dead, and to their great credit, KTV, and I watched that, by the way, and it's, oh man, <laughs> I was not, I was, no, I was eight years old, I was entirely too young to watch that movie, um, but KTV was very, 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 they, they really did a great job. They, they cut the very worst stuff out of it, but left everything else untouched. And so there's that. There's the fact that, that um, Bob Wilkins had a really good interview with Anne Rice um, right after the publication of her famous novel, Interview with a Vampire. This would, of course, again, would have been in the mid-70s. Um, but there was something else that, that um, Bob Wilkins did that, that is noteworthy for broadcasting in that after uh, uh, about a year after KTVU became a superstation, he was vacationing in Hawaii, and he was noticing that that Hawaiian kids were just going, or kids in Hawaii were going nuts for these Japanese animated cartoons, for the animated shows, and also some kids shows that weren't animated; they were live action. So he got this kind of ticking in his head. Then Star Wars hit in that, that summer, and. That was it. He said, I've got to do something that taps into this. And he did. He did a show called Captain Cosmic. And um, I remember that show very fondly. But it introduced kids all across the country to something they had never seen before, except the ones in Hawaii, of course. And that is that anime style of, you know, the, the way that they would speak and the way the characters would move and, and, and the the uh, quality of the drawing and the artwork and stuff. And he showed that, sh that he introduced that. To, um, to American kids. And that's something that almost nobody knows about. Uh, and it's sad because he deserves credit for that. Now, um, I said at the st or start of this video that, that, that Bob Wilkins um, is in trouble. Um, and the trouble is this. He appears to have, well, he does have Alzheimer's. He's had Alzheimer's for, he was diagnosed 10 years ago, and it is now appears to be in its late stages. His wife, Sally, is appealing to people to um, to please donate any money they can, um, but any amount of money, um, any amount of money will help the family, and will especially help her. Uh, you know, but so they're having problems financially. They're having problems helping Bob. You know, who's now becoming very, very infirm. Um, I'm going to put right over here, right over here, <laughs> a link to her um, her website wherein she has another link to PayPal. Um, if you're not comfortable with PayPal, I believe she also has her own personal email. You can email her and ask her for her address. And if you, know, if you just want to send a check or a money order or something, I'm sure she'll be happy to, do, you know, to go along with that. I hope, anyway. Because um, I, know, I, I know I personally am very leery about, about uh, using PayPal, and I'm probably going to ask her if I can send a money order uh, with a donation. But, but please donate if you can. Um, Bob Wilkins is an unsung, I don't want to say hero because that's not really the word, he's an unsung force in our, in our recent cultural past, especially obviously pertaining to television. And uh, he's done a lot of great stuff and he's going to leave a really great legacy. I, I hope that somebody writes a biography about the man. He, I really do. Um, it's not so much that Bob Wilkins is better than anybody else or deserves it more than anybody else, the help, I mean. It's just because I think that he's he's earned, at the very least, the right to be comfortable in the last years of his life. And knowing what I know about Alzheimer's, um, it's going to be very, very hard for him and it's going to be very, very hard for his family uh, between now and the time that he dies. And uh, so, the link is in the description. Um, please donate. And I thank you very much for watching. I really don't have anything else to say about Bob Wilkins. Um, well, you know, actually, that's not true. I could probably go on for a half an hour, but of course, I don't get a half an hour here on YouTube. So, until the next time, arrivederci.